gonna randomly select one of these boxes. We gotta fish with what's in it. So we have an hour and a half. Okay. I don't know what the punishment's gonna be or even if there is a punishment. Oh, that dog will hunt. I mean, look how good it walks. Like, I'm just barely, I'm barely, I'm barely popping it. Oh, sorry, buddy. It doesn't, I caught him twice. I caught him twice. Got him. Got him. What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. This video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle and Catch Co. Ooh, let me turn this way so you can actually you can actually see my ugly face. We're gonna be using mostly all Catch Co baits. And the way we're gonna do it, where's my boxes? We've got two of these guys right here. Me and Chris are gonna randomly select one of these boxes. We gotta fish with what's in it. However, we can actually fish with any bait we want. Every fish you catch with a bait not in the box is worth one point. Every fish you catch with a bait from the box is worth two points. And big fish for the day is gonna be three points. I don't know if y'all are seeing that or not. Oh my goodness, they're just killing it. We gots to go, Chris, we gots to go. I'm gonna lay these boxes out. Chris, I'm gonna let you choose because, you know, I, I already know what's in them. I just don't know which box is which. It's Chris catch anyway, right? Chris go, Chris, Chris go catch it. Chris, Chris, Chris right, you, catch. Got the, you got the bio spawn box. Okay. So you've got some crawls in there, you got some bio bugs, you got some stick bait style stuff, you've got shaky head worms, uh, and there's some spinner baits, a jig different things okay here's the other part you also get to choose between one of these two do you want the scout jerk bait sit him down and i was gonna do it with my eyes closed <laughs> you're going with the jerk bait and i've got the uh, hound it's a topwater walking bait and in my box i was listening to the rattle right in my box i do have some bio spawn, one bio spawn. I've got the exo ribbon, which you also have. So that's one thing that we're gonna share in common. Got some Carl's amazing bait, shaker tails, uh, some crawls from 10,000 fish, and here's the 10,000 fish stuff. The shimmer shad, the shimmer swimmer, the sakoshi bug. I've also got a jig and a little spinner bait. Y'all know the rules, you know what we're doing. So me and Chris are gonna get rigged up here and see if we can't get on some fish. Chris, we have an hour and a half. Okay. I don't know what the punishment's gonna be or even if there is a punishment. But we're just gonna we're gonna try to load up on some fish. That's what we're gonna try to do. I like to eat. Sounds good. Oh, you you want me to buy lunch? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Whoever loses buys lunch. Sounds good. Fair. That's fair. Let's go. Oh my God, that's huge. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm starting off with the scout jerk bait. Got a tub of bio spawn plastic tied on. I'm telling Chris to go ahead and start, even though I'm still tying on, just because they're they're blowing up everywhere behind us. Uh, I've got everything tied on, shaggy head, Texas rig. Uh, I've already got my drop shot tied on with that little shimmer shad. The only thing I need to tie on right now is the Guggen Squad Hound because they're hitting on top water. Got him. Got him. On the hound. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good, oh, that's a good fish. Yes. Yes. How about that, folks? Yeah, about two and a half pounds, maybe three pounds on the Guggen Squad Hound by Catch Co. Yes. I'm gonna put him in the live well. Yep. At the moment, that's big fish. All right, that's two points. All right, let's do it again. Probably should be using mono instead of braid. I think it's just walking behind the bottom. It's barely popping it and it's just walking. See him. Look at him. Yeah. There's one. Two points still count. Got it. 
Got him. I don't think he's just, oh my God. They are running Shad out of the water so quick. <sighs> Got another good one. He's a spot. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna put him in there just in case. Oh my God. There's one. There we go, nice little fishy. But we both got a large mouth and a spot. They're just feeding up on these shad. There's shad that are just pinned back in this corner right now. And they are destroying them. Got another one, little guy. Well, I guess he's not all that little, but he's littler. All right. Sweet. This is gonna be uh, harder to uh, keep up with than I thought. So I've got three, you've got two, and I think I've got big fish at the moment, but but we still got a long way to go. What a fun day so far. We just got here. Let me tell y'all something. This, this hound walks so good. I've got it in black. I've also got one at the house. I should have brought the other one so we'd have like heads up in white, like a, a sexy shad color. I just didn't. Oh, that dog will hunt. Let me look how good it walks. Like, I'm just barely, I'm barely, I'm barely popping it. <laughs> I ski him across the water. The bigger ones want the, the hound. Shoot, boy. Come on now. Oh, sorry, buddy. It doesn't, I caught him twice. I caught him twice. I didn't think the hooks were really good on this thing. Uh, you're wrong. I was just trying to set him free. There, we're gonna clear the, I got it off in the other hand now. There we go. Sorry, bud. That probably hurt. Just a little tip for everybody at home. A little tip here. When you're wanting to do a walking bait like this, if you keep your rod tip like right here out of the water, it's really gonna pop. It's not gonna walk as well. Like it's walking a little bit, but it sort of pops. It's not doing, lower your rod tip almost even with the water line. Let that line get in the water. So when you pull it, that line is already in the water and it's pulling it straight. So it's really pulling it at the right angle on the nose of that bait. That bait will walk a whole ton easier. Keep that rod tip low. So I'm gonna tell you, I think I could get bit on like one of those spinner baits with the wind blowing a little bit. I think I could probably get bit on like the shimmer shad as a drop shot, even though they're kind of on the surface, there's gotta be some down there moving. I could also probably get bit on this shimmer swimmer if I wanted to, just dragging that through the water. Here's my here's my gripe though. They're hitting on top water. I don't wanna leave top water. If they're gonna hit on top water, I want to play top water as long as I can. Top water is just a ton of fun. I haven't had a good topwater blow up this year until today. Gosh, is it fun. Nope, missed it. Not that tight though. Got him on a second go. Put this one uh, compared to yours. Come on, take the wheel. Keep us away from there. 1.7 spot. Three, two, three swipes to get it. No, I don't think so. I mean, maybe they're gonna think. Oh, it's running out of the water. Yeah, net, please. I'll take a net for this one. That may be the big. Uh, that's a big spot. That is a big spot. I mean, they're waiting to. The Three, three. Okay. I think he, uh, let's, my biggest one's gonna be that guy. He's the largest. I think that. I don't think he's, no, that, that guy ain't gonna be no. 
Paint no three three. Yeah, one point seven. Two three. So yeah, you you've definitely got the big one. So that puts us like pretty close. What is that? That was a four point fish. All it takes is one bite. One bite on a it's what it, it's eight to nine. One bite on a uh, a catch co bait. And I'm up by one. That's gonna do it. I tried my best. I had big fish for a long time. And then this last fish Chris caught on this wake bait. Top water was just the deal today. If you weren't throwing top water, you weren't gonna get hit on them. Guggen Squad Hound. Guggen Squad by Catch Go Hound, that little black, that all black, did the deal. Look at all the teeth marks on it. Oh, I love breaking in a bait like that, getting some teeth marks on a top water bait. That did me right. I got all of my fish on that guy right there. Hopefully y'all got some really good blow ups on the, on the camera. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it. Our hour and a half is up. Chris, you did it. You got two catch co bait caught fish on the Guggen Squad Scout. Yep. So that was four points. Then you got one on the wake bait, then another on the wake bait that was big fish. So that was an extra point that made five, and then a total of four extra, three for big fish, one for catching one on a non catch co bait. So uh, that's nine. I ended up having only four fish all about the same size, all about that one and a half to right around two and a half, somewhere in there. That three, three or three, two that you pulled in was just, is a monster. That's a monster spot. But yeah, it was eight to nine. Chris got me by one. And I think that means I owe you lunch. I hope you like Jack's because we're going, we're going cheap. We're going cheap today. We're going to get some Jack's hamburgers. That's, that's, that's right. So guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If you want to pick up any of those baits, all you gotta do is hit the link in the description. Head on over to Shop Carl's. Uh, it's where I buy all of my baits. And uh, you can get 30% off by using a Shop Carl's membership. So sign up for that. It'll be the first link in the description. And uh, they also have Mystery Tackle Box subscriptions. So if uh, you want to pick up one of those, which we love dearly on this channel, the Mystery Tackle Boxes, you can also do that. Use the code BFISHING at checkout, and it'll save you, uh, I think, half off the box. So your first box will be like $10, or as little as $10. So that's, that's pretty sweet. That's like getting Christmas every single month. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this one. And uh, we're going to get to Jack's real quick, and then we'll finish the video. How's that sound? Let's go. Well, I owe somebody lunch. And uh, it's wrapped around the store. I mean, we got literally wrapped around the store. So we're gonna be waiting for a minute, buddy. I'm hungry. There you go, Chris. There's my card. Don't, don't flash the card. He's trying to show them, there we go. There's, there's the card. I to it's for lady pie. Oh. There you go. All right, folks, I've paid my debt on this video. Chris has his food. We got to get back home. I've got my food in the bag as well. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like button. Leave a comment below on any future challenges. I really liked doing the catch code like okay. thing. It was just random mystery box. Leave that in the comments if you want to see more stuff like this. Uh, that was a lot of fun. The top water was on fire. It was so much fun. And uh, as always, <laughs> as as the same color as that, that box of fries, the red subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead, hit it, turn it gray. Hit the ding dong notifications next to it so you'll be notified anytime we drop a new video and we are out until the next one. Later guys. <laughs>